we've created the basic motion for the bat in this script right here. When the flag gets clicked, you're going to change your size. You're going to go to a certain location, which is this corner. You are not going to flip upside down, just left or right forever. You are moving forward 10 steps, rotating slightly. If you hit an edge, bounce, flap your wings, and then wait just a fraction of a second. And it looks like that. What we need to do now is make sure that if the bat hits the cat, the cat gets hurt. So that means we need to create some sort of health, some sort of a stat that we're going to keep track of. And that would be in data. What we're doing is creating a variable. I'm going to call mine lives, but it could be health. It could be points. It could be whatever you want it to be. Inside of lives, there's a number that's being stored. Right now, that number is zero. If we want this number to be displayed on the screen, we can display it on the screen. If we don't want it displayed, we just uncheck right next to it, and then it's hidden. In this case, we do want it to be displayed so that the player can see it. At the beginning of the game, this could be done with any of the sprites. I'm just going to do it with the cat. So when the green flag gets clicked, set the number of lives that you have to nine. And then since we don't have a forever loop here, we could put this in the forever loop for the bat, or we could put it in a new forever loop for the cat. Let's go ahead and just put it in for the bat so that if the bat touches the cat, then we lose a life. So we're going to use this right here, if then. And we need sensing next. If you are touching sprite number one, and instead of saying sprite number one, we could rename this sprite cat. We're going to attach this bit of code to the bat. If you are touching the cat, then what happens? We go back to data and we change lives by minus one. Let's test this out. We've got nine lives. Oh, and we've got negative two lives left. We didn't have anything in our code to say when you bump into each other, you just lose one life and then you sort of bump off of each other. Instead, the bat flew straight through the cat and we kept losing lives. How do we get the bat to fly away? Well, one easy thing we could do with the bat is just make it fly up into the air. We could have to just glide really quickly. 0.1 seconds to which X location? X is left, right. Well, we can just say the bat's current X location, and then Y would be 180. Let's say 150. So it just launches way up in the air. Let's test that out. Nine lives. Eight lives. Seven lives. All right, that's working.